What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena of Valor video and today we will be playing that Violet in the jungle. Now you might be thinking why are we making a video about Violet out of the blue? Well, because there was a new strategy discovered. Um, it was even used in, the, in a tournament, in the GCS, in the Taiwanese league. They even played her in the jungle with this exact um, enchantment setup. And um, yeah, basically you go for that green enchantment, right? It seems like a troll because it's only picked by supports, but I have to say it is kind of a sleeper OP enchantment. I use it on Murad as well. Um, I'm trying to get a video for that, but you, you guys know, man, I'm a clown Murad. I Listen guys, I feed every single game, okay? But with Violet, I can easily show you because this hero is pretty goddamn brain dead. Let's be real, guys, okay? You, you jump and you shoot, right? It's really simple. And um, yeah, as you can see, we not only have the green enchantment, um, the butterfly thing that slows the enemy when you auto attack them. This is why my little hands there of the beautiful Violet in her braid skin, which is super cute, which is, in my opinion, the best one. Um, he yoinks the kill, what can I say? Anyway, um, that is why they're glowing, right? Whenever you have that glow on your weapon's hands, you will slow the enemy and you will also reduce the damage they deal by around 20 or 30%, which is insane. Um, yeah, and it basically just refreshes every couple seconds out of combat. You can see we snipe that little boy, man. He is stuck, you know? He is stuck under the tower. He is pinned against the wall by the dominant alpha girl Violet with the green enchantment. What is also cool is you get that little tree enchantment. You can see that I have already 16 stacks. It basically gives you bonus HP, right? It's really, really overpowered, but usually you don't really take it because you need death sickle. You need red enchantments. You need yellow enchantments, you know, um, and then the blue secondary death sickle. But because we're going green in first, in, in primary enchantment thing, we, we get this, right? So it's still pretty cool. You won't get one shot. Uh, by the annoying assassins because this is 800 health in the late game which is insane right and we already have 23 stacks it stacks really fast as a jungler now also what we also have whenever i enter a bush you will see me get another green buff which is the third green enchantment which basically um i think i forgot to build jungle item this game i am so stupid dude. well anyway it's fine um basically you get um, this is so funny. Of course I forget. Of course we play well, we have good macro, we have good ganks, but what do I forget? I have to clown it in somehow, right? Pro I probably even did it intentionally, you know, my galaxy brain at this point, who knows? Look at this snipe. Boom! Never mind. Anyway, we still get him though, uh, Death Sickle gets popped, and um, yeah. As I'm saying, we have the third green enchantment. Look, I enter the bush, come on. Where is it? Uh, maybe it's on cooldown. I don't know guys. I think it has a 20 second cooldown. He tried to steal. There it is. There it is. You see it running out. Um, it deals true damage on your next auto attack. So it, it deals um, true damage based on the enemy's current health. So if they're full HP, your poke just becomes much stronger. This is a beautiful bait because I see that my Florentino is still there. He cancelled his back part. So I'm just trying to bait this little guy and he gets baited and he gets killed. Very simple. As I'm saying though, we have the beautiful green enchantment, all the green enchantments, and then not only do they fit the beautiful flowers of this backport animation, as you can see there, they also make a lot of sense for a hero with a huge auto attack range. So keep in mind, we don't go death sickle with this, because if you go blue enchantment, I really feel like it is uh, scuffed, you know, if it, you, you don't deal enough damage. That is why I want the armor pierce on yellow. We also get the cooldown reduction on ultimate on yellow, which is nice to have for her, you know, late game. Her ult is very spammable with that. And um, yeah, I just have to say, I, I, I'm i pretty sure, usually you would build the Mr. Stabby, right? After the attack speed boots, but we forgot, man. What can I say? We are clowning on the enemies, even receiving less. Um... There we go, he just dies. Oh, this is the snipe. Boom. Easy. Easy, boys. Huge range on that ult. Anyway, uh, what we're also doing to enhance the clickbait a little bit, guys. 
We are running full Rampage Arcana. Um, as you saw maybe, my attack speed was a little bit slow in the early game. Uh, because we're not running any Blitz. You really shouldn't run Blitz. What you should go is a couple Rampage, like 13%, and then the rest crit chance, which, which is what Zane always did. Rip in peace, man. Feels bad, man. The Mobile Legends guy. Now, um, now, now you are forced to watch this garbage Violet player instead of him, you know, instead of uh, actually good Violet. <laughs> well, what can I say? Darkbreaker doesn't really play this hero either, so I guess you're stuck watching me, guys, because no one plays this game. It feels bad. Well, anyway, um, as I'm saying, try it out. I saw it a week ago, about a week ago, week ago, hey, <laughs> uh, there goes the monetization. Anyway, I try. I saw it a week ago on AOV Sean's YouTube channel, he's a Taiwanese YouTuber, um, and he always shows like cool bit builds and stuff, and I thought it's a clickbait. Listen man, I put so I put Devil's Handshake on everything, uh, hey, it's a huge surprise that I'm not building Devil's Handshake on Violet at this point, let's be, let's be goddamn real guys, right? Um, as I'm saying, thank you Flash, dude. That Flash is stealing the red buff, I can explain why. He has the blue skin, usually Flash is red, so he wants at least some red, you know, to accentuate his look, you know? It, it makes sense, man, it makes sense. You got, you gotta step up your fashion if you don't understand that, guys. Anyway, um, I thought he's just clickbaiting, like me and Darkbreaker do, right? But he's not, he's in fact not, because I saw it like three days ago in the GCS, as I said, in the Taiwanese League, uh, which is, of course, one of the best leagues, one of the three major leagues that AOV has, um, along with Thailand and Vietnam League. And yeah, what can I say? It is really, really strong. I tried it a couple games and it's really strong. And as I said, you don't really miss a lot of damage. Like we are still dealing normal violet damage. And keep in mind, why are we doing this? We are doing this because Holy Thunder is nerfed, guys. Holy Thunder doesn't have an AD ratio anymore. So don't, don't take that. It is still okay, the base damage is still pretty decent, so it still works. But with this, it, you have that slow, right? You have those better ganks. You saw in the early game, we jump on that tool and he gets slowed a little bit, you know? He gets his damage reduced. It is just useful in team fights and everything, even late game. 20% damage reduction, I think it's at least. But I think it's 30, possibly. You have to read it up. I, I didn't even read it. I, I still didn't even read Eva's skills, guys, okay? We're not, we're playing, we're not reading, you know what I mean? When I read, I'm gonna read manga, okay? There's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, that, that was a nice auto-aim, dude. That was a clean auto-aim, dude. 90 degree auto-aim, dude. I love it. I love this game, man. It is beautiful. Anyway, this is the best skin for Violet, if you didn't know. Because you already know, we are all goddamn virgins. Never, never had, listen guys, I know you never had a girlfriend. I know you never even held hands with a girl. So here you are, you have your little wife in game, man. Why not play? Why would you take that anime skin? The, the Dimension Breaker, whatever it is, man. I only, I only like Dark Breaker, that's the only Breaker I like, guys, personally. And Rank Breaker is pretty cute too. But anything else, guys, you know, what is that Dimension Breaker? Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this, um, we have pretty decent macro, we are um, playing really well, it is kind of a stomp, but I think it's a, it's a stomp induced by our immense jungle pressure that we lay upon the enemy team, with our Galactius brain, of course. Guys, should, should, I, should I write books? I think I should write books. I, th I think I should write science books. Because I'm really good at just using stupid words that no one understands and that don't, don't really make sense in that context, but it, you just use them to sound smart. I think I'm pretty good at that. Anyway guys, uh, as you can see, we have the clean macro, we're farming as much as we can. We're gonna go for that red real quick. We have the green shine on our hands. Um, it's not because we're a dealer of illegal substances. I'm demonetized, man. I'm demonetized again. Jesus Christ, it wasn't even funny. It wasn't even worth. I'm demonetized almost every- actually, I'm never demonetized. Just It's always just a joke, guys. Um, I hope it's still funny, though. Anyway, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a one-shot. 
you one-shot people, okay? I'm gonna put that in the thumbnail. You one-shot people with these Arcana. I'm not kidding. We have 86% crit damage with, with the Cloud Sanki. Watch. Watch this tool and pop, dude. He, you never, you will never pop anyone this hard. Look at this. <laughs> what is he gonna do? <laughs> I didn't even hit my S2. Like, he died before my S2 even landed. He just dead. You know what I mean? And what can he do? You know? Go that Rampage, I'm telling you. Rampage is the best. And usually, um, I feel like most of the time, the better build. Now, this is again for the clowns who don't watch the full video get wrecked okay because you have the bad build because usually usually you go for a rank breaker but sometimes it is really good also this is fake news okay it said 26 percent damage dealt and nine percent damage tank look at the fake news guys it is 5.8 percent damage tank we played this almost flawlessly okay we were dealing our damage our maximum damage while also staying out of range. So I thought this is worth to share. Anyway, guys. Um, usually, you go for the rank breaker, right? But if the enemies have two or more tanks, this time they only had Baldo, you would go Clavis Sancti first into the Muramasa, into the Omni Arms. I think that's most of the time the best build, because usually they have two tanks. Um, sometimes they have no tanks, you know, when they, if they had an Alice support instead of the Baldo, you would go rank break, you would destroy their lives. But you know, sometimes you gotta go for Amura Masa. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little clicky baity video. It wasn't really clickbait, it's really good, try it out. Um, now for Lane Violet, uh, I think this is also better, this enchantment. Uh, but um, yeah, not sure, because Holy Thunder is good for poking in lane. Uh, but a lot of people go Endless Cycle anyway, so screw these guys. Enjoy your evening guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out boys. Bye bye